everyone this is me satya here and i'm doing your uh, first week of jan 2020 reading this is going to be for the sign of gemini so let's see what's coming up for gemini people for the first week of uh, jan 2020 i wish you all a very happy new year and i hope this year brings you a lot of blessings in your life so yeah while i'm shuffling the cards let me remind you it is a general reading it may and it may not resonate with everyone out there so just pick whatever is resonating with you in your situation and leave the rest for a person reading you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also follow me on instagram where i do upload daily readings so if you have not followed me yet do that as well um yeah, uh, i will be uploading um year 2020 reading for all signs after getting done with the weekly so yeah if you don't want to miss out the um you know uh notification do hit the notification bell icon as well so you do get notified when i upload the reading so let's begin this uh, first week of uh, jan reading for the sign of gemini let's see what's coming for all of you out there for the first week which has already started three of wands Four of Cups, somebody's waiting for something. Drop. Let's see one more card. Two of Pentacles. I don't need to take you to have the star. Hmm. <clears throat> Whatever you are waiting for is going to come. Don't worry. I feel like, you know, for some of you, it could be applicable in your love life or in your work life. Obviously, it, 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 it can, you know, relate to you in, you know, in any way, I would say. It can be a situation in your home life as well. But I'm, I'm picking up the energy that you are uh, having a lot of opportunities coming your way. Be that in your work life, be that in your love life. But you are uh, waiting for a specific one. You don't want to settle in for less. You don't want to accept anything that comes your way. You are very specific that this is the thing I want. This is the thing that I desire. This is the thing that I want to go for. And that one thing is going to take its due time to come through. Um, and uh, which is why I feel like you would choose to, you know, if it applies to your work life, I feel like you will choose to continue whatever you are doing right now. You would choose to continue till you have that one thing uh, coming up for you. Um, if it applies to your love life, even though I'm, I'm yet to take cards for your love life, but if, if this situation applies to your love life, I feel like you will be having a lot of opportunities too in your love life as well. But there is one particular person on your mind that you are waiting for. You don't want to settle in for less. You, you really want that person to be the one or you don't want. You know, you know that's, that's one thing for sure. You either want that person or you don't want to be in any relationship. And... Uh, you are patiently waiting for that person to come because you know that that person is going to reach out anytime. And, uh, but the thing is, like you have maybe, you know, if not daily, but you do get to have a lot of opportunities. You do get to have a lot of, op uh, you know, um, um, proposals. Uh, you, you have uh, many people interested in you, I would say. Uh, and you, you don't know what to do right now. You don't, uh, you don't want to uh, waste your time and energy into anything uh, but to, you know, in, into that one person that you have on your mind. Um, it doesn't have to be a specific one person that you have on, my, on your mind. It could be just that, that there is a specific type that you desire to have in your love life. And uh, the offers that you are coming, uh, that are coming your way right now, they are not exactly how you want that person to be. So uh, you choose not to get involved in any relationship until unless you find the right type that you have chosen or made or kind of um, you know uh, uh, have an image of you know in your mind so um, but I feel like as the week uh, ends you you will start getting um, you will start getting confused regarding you know um, whether to choose that new offer or whether to choose that offer that you are having right now or should you wait longer because i feel like you have already waited a lot you have already waited a lot and you felt maybe you felt as uh, as the end as the year 2020 2019 was ending you might have felt that maybe i will meet the person there but it didn't work out 
So you are like, you know, you don't want to waste your time this time around because you don't want to be single in, in this, you know, Feb uh, because of Valentine's Day and stuff. So maybe you would start considering, okay, fine, maybe I should just cut this thing off from the list that I don't want this man. Maybe I don't want this thing in my girl or stuff like that. So if that's, you know, I feel like you will be kind of, you know, re um uh, revisiting the list that you have on your mind or uh, you could just you know maybe you would edit the list out I think or uh, you would uh, edit like you know the the um, the opportunities the offers that you have you may kind of you know give a second thought to those uh, offers or uh, opportunities as well so let's take uh, cards for your love life let's see what is coming up for your love life though But the thing is, with the star card here, it's it seems like, you know, if, if you are meant to be with a specific someone, if you are manifesting with the belief that you are bound to be with a certain person, whether whatever comes your way, nothing will work out until and unless that one person is going to come and offer you that one thing, uh, the love offer, the job opportunity. If you are a manifester, nothing will work out even if you choose to uh you know okay let me try this new opportunity that you have it will still not work out even if you are the bestest you know um um you know um um what 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 do we say that um the people who apply for 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 a job or something even if you could be the bestest contestant over there, you would still be rejected or something will not work out. Because if you are a manifester, you will manifest what you are waiting for, what you are waiting for. But I do see you having second thought though. So um, I feel like uh, for majority of you, if it is you settling in for less, it will not work out. <clears throat> Let's see. The chariot, pair of wealth, five of pentacles. The hair font. Let's see one more card. Two of cups. And in the deck, you do have ten of uh, pentacles. Hmm. For those of you who are, uh, who are already married or already with the person that they uh, always wanted to be with, um, that person could be staying away from you as in maybe you are you are in a you are living uh, elsewhere and that person is living elsewhere if not then there could be uh like you know the person could be traveling a lot because of their work or something and that makes you feel um uh, you know uh left alone at times and you do um you you do love this person you do love but i feel like you know if that person goes somewhere else to work and then come back then um i feel like you both are living away from your initial families too like maybe you are maybe you as a couple are living somewhere else and your families are living in another state or country or whatever and when your partner goes to uh to to the work you do miss uh, them also your family so it makes you know it double like you know it, it it gets double uh tension or whatever so you start feeling alone it's not that you you your partner doesn't love you or so, anything like that there's nothing like that there, there's every you know everything is good in your love life for sure so um but yeah you do feel like you know uh you do feel like you know i'm i'm uh, away from home or i uh, i wish i was living with them and all but at the same time i would definitely remind to be uh, thankful for the person that you have in your life because I feel like you know you both love each other a lot and I, I can understand there could be some times where you feel like lonely but at the same time there are the times that you are being uh, you know uh, treated like a princess or a prince and you are you know you have that you know uh, you know the time that uh, you know that could be the uh, you know um, that could be like, you know, living a dream life or something. So you should be thankful more than, you know, uh, thinking about the, that one little thing which gets a little kind of, you know, um, um, maybe because your life is perfect in uh, another way. 
So it's like, you know, whenever, you know, uh, even a slightest thing that happens makes you feel sad. It could be just that as well. So it's like, you know, uh, like I said, try to be grateful uh, rather than, you know, being the one who would complain like I'm lonely and I'm I'm, uh, I'm lost or something like it's it's not the case. So I would suggest you to change this mindset of yours. Um, so uh, because it's going to help you only it's uh, it's it's uh, it's spoiling your peace. It's, uh, you know, if you change that, it's going to help you um stay happy so why why do you want to stay unhappy so just change that because there is nothing wrong going on in your love life so it's just that the it's just the way you um maybe overthink because maybe you don't have anything uh, to do at home maybe for some of you maybe you are not working your partner is working maybe you have very less work to do and the partner has a lot of work to do so they stay busy so that's why you think that i'm uh, i'm left alone so uh Try to get, uh, you know, try to get yourself busy doing something that you love. Um, if your partner is traveling, I would suggest you if you could travel with them, do that. And um, if not, then indulge into something that that can uh, take your focus off from, you know, thinking or heavily thinking about your family back home there. Or, you know, uh, try to stay busy mentally. Just keep, get yourself mentally busy. So you don't uh, think negatively because this is like, you know, um, indulging into uh, something negative because there is nothing negative here in your life. At least that's that's how it is for the people I'm reading right now. So what's the point feeling, uh, you know, unhappy in your love life? Um, coming towards those who are single, let's take cards for them separately because I don't think the energies I'm picking up here are of those of you who are single but let's take some cards for the singles out there <clears throat> what's coming up for the singles out there the star king of pentacles the hangman the lovers underneath the deck you do have queen of wands underneath that you do have ten of cups temperance for the singles out there, I feel like you have a lot of opportunities. <clears throat> if you are single and you're feeling lost and you feel like, yeah, I'm still single, the year has already started and stuff like that, uh, when will I have the person? I feel like you will be having a lot of uh, uh, offers coming your way. But... Um, but like I said, there is this one person on your mind or the one specific type that you want, which is not coming, definitely, which is not coming, not at least in this week. But you will be having a lot of other opportunities coming your way uh, to, you know, uh, to have who you want. You really have to wait because um, for some of you, it could be like uh, there is somebody from your past who you never thought could be the one for you now you're realizing that you know you are falling for that person that could be the case for some of you as well so yeah that's pretty much it let's take some oracle cards for you for the first week of uh, jan 2020 let's see what's coming up what's the special guidance for you for the first week time gratitude i told you already show gratitude <laughs> And uh, yeah, <laughs> okay, let's see one more card. <clears throat> Unbound, releasing all, uh, so releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Um, for some of you, if you're you know waiting on for an old person, uh, let's take some cards for that old person if there is somebody that you have on your mind let's see what's up with that person what's up with that person that's that person is not going to reach out to you if you want you can reach out to that person uh because that person has uh, done what they were supposed to do if you want them then you have to reach out to that person so yeah I, I already gave you the message. If you want, you can reach out to that person. <clears throat> Let's take the last card from the Oracle decks. Oneness is my true nature. Ta-da!
you are one with the nature you are one with the god you are one with the source you are one with the um abundance you are one with the love you are one with everything you are united with um with the source so it's like uh you are you know um whatever you desire is basically already yours because you are one and complete and you are whole and complete and everything that you desire is you know can you know you can have it by going within and uh, only those who are spiritually awakened will understand what i just said so yeah just um that's pretty much it coming up for you for the first week of jan 2020 if the reading helped you in one way or the other or if you liked it do like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye bye